this stuff. Good morning. See this? See this bad boy right here? This is, this is 37, baby. The Silver Fox is, lo and behold, finally entering the chat. I'm just gonna embrace it. I'm just gonna let it waft over me. For the past couple of years, I have been pushing back against the salt and pepper life, but I think I'm finally just gonna embrace it. So let's go, baby. But devs. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Derek. I'm a front end developer based out of Los Angeles. And in today's video, I'm basically just gonna do uh, just another little vlog for you guys. As you can see, a whole two months later, I am still settling into the new apartment. That bad boy down there is a dresser. So I'm gonna put that together today and swap out with my old one because that thing is a piece of crap. But the place is, it's its coming together. It's coming along. It's, it's a slow process. It's a slow burn, but we're getting there. Like I said, I'm going to put that together, but more importantly, I'm going to go over my app design that I've been chipping away at since I'd say March. I think it's finally in a good enough spot to begin the dev process, to start dev, because that that's the, that's the meat and potatoes. Like that's what I really want to work on. Lately, I've been watching a lot of uh, coal Kakamai's, Cole Kakamai's, sick channel, guy makes great videos, uh, super smart dude. He's been building a SaaS product. He's been building in public basically, and he's been documenting that process. And that's been very like motivational and inspirational for myself to like finally just get off of my ass and start my project. Even though my project is nothing substantial, it's just a practice project, really just to stay sharp on current tech stacks and polish some existing skills, plus just something fun to work on. So I wanna get that process going, take a few crash courses on say like TypeScript, React, just to get like a refresher. I, I don't know anything about Next.js, I've never touched it. So that's gonna be another learning experience for myself. And this project is basically just gonna be my tactical stress to force myself to stay current and learn some new skills because this, this is a tutorial hell free zone. Okay, we are not getting caught up in tutorial purgatory. So we are deploying a practice project for ourselves to work on because that's that's really where you learn stuff. So that's the plan for today. But first, I'm gonna put this bad boy together and get that going and then hop into the technical stuff. So let's go. later. All right, we're we're back baby. Now that that fucker is done. That that took way longer than I anticipated. That thing took like four and a half, maybe like five-ish hours. Obviously I broke for lunch and like did some random cleaning up and stuff and then swapped out the old dresser with the new one and transferred everything, but holy shit. You think you can knock out a piece of IKEA furniture in 2 hours? Think think again. So, now that that's done, Let's take a look at this app. Okay, so this is the app home screen right here. Again, it is a simple CRUD based application. It is just a cafe tracker where you can track your coffee shops, restaurants, and bars and lounges that you visit. So this is the home screen. This is the home screen populated with some entries. So these are all of your entries will essentially sit down here. And then if you have entries that are favorited, those will sit here at the top. Over here is your top level categories. So you have all entries. Obviously we're on coffee shops right now, but you can do restaurants, bars, and lounges as well. And then right here is going to be some filtering functionality. So you'll be able to filter by a visited, want to visit, or scheduled. Over here off to the right, I want to bake in some like search or filtering capability here with this input field. And this will just be your simple username and profile photo up here in the corner. So this is the home screen. Uh, if we click Bodega Park, so if we click an entry, we're going to go into this view which is the entry details view. You're gonna have this, uh, the, the idea is this drawer is just gonna like slide in from the right and it's just going to display all of the metadata and meta information about that entry. You have the option to edit it by clicking edit here or delete the entry entirely. If you click edit, you'll get the edit entry component, which is very similar to the add entry component. So add entry is if you click this add button here. 
So this is just that component blank, and this is that component populated with an entries metadata information. And you can just edit it, modify it, make tweaks. Uh, you can leave little reviews down here or add yourself a note. You can cancel or save at any point. Now, when you initially start the app, this will obviously be your blank screen. You can just add an entry by clicking the add button here, and you'll get that add entry component that slides in from the right. And the idea with the profile piece here is that if you click on your profile photo up here, you'll get another component that slides in like a drawer and it just shows your profile information you can edit that here and then just some simple like top level statistics of like all of the coffee shops you've entered restaurants or bars and lounges just everything added up basically but yeah this is the entire app i think i have enough design here enough views here to at least get something started and yeah this is this is the app i'm going to initialize a fresh repository and get that initial commit going and just get the ball rolling on this. So that's the plan. Like I've mentioned before on the channel, what I do at Activision, we don't use a modern tech stack. So I think this is gonna help, uh, help keep me fresh. So let's dive in. I think that's enough productivity for one day. It is 6.50, so it's almost 7 p.m. I'm, I'm starving, so I'm gonna go grab some dinner because I have nothing nothing in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna go grab some dinner and then probably head over to Ocean Park and just enjoy the enjoy the sunset. It's been a pretty good, productive Saturday, and I think that's the, that's the perfect way to wrap it up. So let's go. I just want to share my thoughts on perfectionism and how I've really been struggling with it lately. Waiting to come up with the absolute perfect idea for a project or something that you want to build is likely the thing that's holding you back. It's what's been holding me back for months. Are there other cafe tracker apps out there? Hell, hell yes. Is there a free Notion template that literally does the exact same thing that I've designed? I mean, probably, but you know what? Who cares? You can literally just build things. So what if it's not the perfect idea or if it's been done before, you've gotta just build something for you. And furthermore, consider building it in public. Hold yourself accountable and just put something out there. Perfectionism and fear are both the killers of progress. So I think it's okay to just lower the bar a little bit and make progress the goal instead. But hey, if you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate you hanging out. If you enjoyed this and want to see more, consider subscribing. But that's going to do it for this one, devs. I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.